Hey there and welcome back to another weekly grocery haul and meal plan. We are here at Aldi once again and I'm probably going to stop over at Wegmans just to get a couple of things. So please make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And if you're ready, let's go shopping. Okay, here we are. We're back from the store, and uh, so I just have what I got at all these here. I didn't include what I stopped for at Tops because it was only a couple things anyway. So let's just get right into it. Over here, we'll start with the produce. I have two of these bunches of bananas. They were really green this week, which I guess is a good thing because then it'll take them a lot longer to go bad. I grabbed some strawberries this week as our berries. And then I also grabbed two packages of the mushrooms, so I have a total of one pound of Baby Bella mushrooms this week. And that is it for the vegetables, because I actually still have quite a few vegetables left over from last week that I'm going to be going through in my fridge to make dinners with. Behind that, um, I have two of these coffees here. This, these ones are like the K-Cups. My husband's going to take these to work with him. And then these one, this one here, uh, we're going to keep here at home. This is just the medium roast. They were out of like all of their dark roast coffee this week. Uh, there was only a couple of boxes of the dark roast of these left. There was no dark roast left of like the regular ground coffee. And then I grabbed some diapers for my son. I had to size up this week because once again, uh, my Aldi was really low on stock on literally almost everything, especially the things that my staple items that I get like every week. So I had to go up a size on the diapers because they were completely out of size fours, but they had everything else. And then I also went ahead and I grabbed a package of toilet paper because we are running low on that. And then I grabbed a loaf of bread. This is what I'm going to keep in my freezer. I actually have about like a whole loaf of bread that I haven't used yet from last time, but I like to keep one in the freezer as backup just in case. And I also grabbed some eggs because we were running low. Behind that, I decided to grab a bag of these mini chocolate chips. I've been in the mood to make chocolate chip cookies lately, and I don't know, the mood just struck, struck me, so I wanted to make sure I had chocolate chips in my pantry for when the mood strikes again, and I want to actually make it this time. I grabbed a couple cheeses. I have some American cheese here. I also grabbed a pepper jack. And then over here, I have Parmesan cheese as well. I grabbed the Castlewood Honey Smoked Turkey Breast this week. I got the oven roasted chicken last week, um, but we're going to do the turkey breast this week. As well as I grabbed some of the chicken salad. I noticed all these prices on their chicken salad went up quite a bit, and now they're even charging a different price for the... Uh, the cranberry almond chicken salad they used to be the same price so I just went with the regular one this week um, but the cranberry almond one is a little bit more now I also grabbed here the turkey kielbasa and that is going to be used in two different dishes this week sliding over chicken so my Aldi was completely out of literally every single cut of chicken except for these drumsticks they had a bunch of these drumsticks left these were 89 cents a pound this week so this was their Aldi special but this was literally the only cut of chicken that they had I don't know what happened but there was nothing else the shelves were bare it was terrifying I also grabbed a package of these base scallops these are like the smaller ones this was a pound 
and the price is up there on the screen for you but they also had some of the larger scallops as well which the jumbo which were a little bit more but i went for that because more bang for your buck i love scallops let me know in the comments do you like scallops I had to grab some of just this distilled white vinegar I used up the rest of mine to clean my coffee maker so I wanted to grab another one to make sure I had it. As you can also see back here we have another bag of chicken nuggets. These are for my son because it's literally all he eats these days. I went ahead and grabbed some yeast. Uh, my husband mentioned pizza so I might be making pizza sometime soon but I ran out of yeast so I wanted to make sure I had some of that as well. I have some heavy whipping cream here that's going to be used in a couple dishes like soups, which I do pretty often lately. And I also grabbed some of these frozen waffles. These are for my son for his breakfast. Uh, behind these, I grabbed some of these pita crackers. They had these and then they had like the sea salt flavors. I've never tried these ones before. They look a little different than like pita chips. Um, so they're more crackers. So we're gonna try them out and see if they're good. They look good to me, so I don't know. They were out of the club crackers, which I normally buy, so that's why I went and had and grabbed those instead. I also grabbed this here, uh, the honey vanilla Greek yogurt. They were out of the regular vanilla yogurt for my son, so I grabbed that one and see if he will eat that. These I grab just about every week are the squeezes and different flavors to make sure my son's getting all his fruits and vegetables. He eats usually like two of those a day. And then a couple of pantry staples that I have over here. I grabbed some more spaghetti. This is a big box that they sell as 32 ounces. I also grabbed here a couple. I have four cans of tuna. They were out of the uh, chunk light in the water, so I grabbed the skipjack instead this week. We're out of jelly, so I grabbed some of these blueberry preserves to keep around. As well as the pesto. All these pesto is pretty good if you like pesto sauce. And it's this nice little jar, about six ounces, just under seven ounces, so it lasts a little while as well. Then I grabbed this jar of the artichoke hearts. These are not the marinated one, which is good. These are the ones that I wanted. I'm going to be making like an artichoke chicken this week. As well as these, I noticed that they turn these into like a regular stock item. These are over in like their condiments and salad dressings and things now. Uh, I found them right next to the artichoke hearts, so I grabbed the wild garlic cheese stuffed cherry poppers. One of the last things I have here, these animal crackers. These remind me a lot of those McDonald's animal crackers from back in the day. You know, like the vanilla ones, they have like a little hint of lemon in them. They're actually really good and really nostalgic if you remember those. And then the last couple of things that I got from Aldi, which I thought were really fun and really cute, is they had these here, uh, Cheesecake Factory. This one is creme brulee. They're like pudding. So this one's creme brulee, and then this one is uh, cafe mocha. And it says that they are infused puddings. You can see. And then they have like these little crunchy mixins on top. Uh, this one is cookies, so like Oreos. And the creme brulee one, it says it's a caramel crunch mix-in, so like toffee pieces it looks like. And then the very last thing, I found this in uh, like their Valentine's Day section with all their seasonal Valentine's Day goodies. They have these chocolate truffles imported from Germany. They have a lot of different flavors in this package and they're a lot of fun flavors. I'm pretty excited about the bourbon vanilla and the raspberry mascarpone. They look really good, they look really fun, but yeah. That is it for this week's weekly grocery haul. And if you need some meal plan inspiration, please stick around. I have that coming for you right now. Alrighty, here we are with this week's weekly meal plan. So for breakfast, uh, I have the options to do waffles and I can also serve that with fruit and yogurt. I have the strawberries and I have bananas that I can mix in with some of that vanilla and honey yogurt. For lunches, I have a turkey, I can do turkey and cheese sandwiches. I can also do tuna fish. Um, and then I'm gonna serve that with one of those squeezes for my son and the crackers. I'm also thinking about maybe even pureeing some of that yogurt with the strawberries and see if my son will eat that like that. 
So for Monday, I'm going to be making an artichoke baked chicken. It's gonna have kind of the flavor profiles of a spinach artichoke dip. I have some kale that I'm gonna use instead of spinach, um, and then I'm gonna bake it up with you know some chicken uh, with some cheese and stuff and artichokes. For Tuesday, I'm gonna be making like a creamy chicken and mushroom soup. So think of like cream of mushroom soup, um, homemade, but I'm going to add some chicken to it as well. <laughs> and I <laughs> definitely forgot to add the word chicken in there. Wednesday is going to be just a simple pesto pasta. I bought some more spaghetti and I also have elbow macaronis too laying around and I'm just gonna mix it with some of that pesto sauce that I bought. Uh, and maybe I'll throw some chicken in there too. I don't know yet. Thursday, I'm going to be making one of my favorite soups, the Zappa Toscana. It's going to be so I can use up some of the kale that I do still have in my freezer that I was talking about. And then Friday, uh, Friday, I'm going to just do some takeout. We're going to order a pizza and maybe some chicken wings too. I don't know yet, but we're going to do a takeout on Friday. Saturday, I'm gonna be making like a creamy coconut chicken. So think like uh, the Chinese food, the way they like tempura fry the chicken. So I'm going to be doing like a tempura fried chicken. And then I'm going to be making like a creamy coconut sauce using coconut milk um, to do that. And I'm gonna serve it over rice. And then lastly, on Sunday, I'm going to be making up some seitan steak fingers. So similar to chicken fingers in the way that they are cooked and breaded, but I'm going to use seitan as the protein and flavor it. So it's kind of similar to a steak finger. And then I will serve that up with some country gravy as well. And for the side, I'm not even entirely sure I'm going to need a side with this dinner. But if we do, I do have some potatoes that I can roast up as well, like I'm going to do for uh, the baked artichoke chicken up here. But that is it for this week's weekly meal plan and grocery haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. It really does help me out. Thanks again so much for watching, guys. Okay, I love you. Bye.